Right, let's start again. I'm trying out a new rig here. I've got a new camera holder thingy. So I'm trying it out. It's got its own lights and everything, so the lighting should be good. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take this uh, 32 centimeter, 420 gram line through roach that we have already removed the original wire harness from because the, the wire harnesses are toss we're also going to remove the hooks because the hooks are toss and we're going to replace them with 4 odd BKK spears so let's go about this dead easy you know so first of all let's take off this treble This can be bent. Let's put a treble on the front. Without sticking ourselves with the hook points. So, there we go. We then attach a bit of wire to here. This is our one millimeter stainless steel welding wire. We're going to make a loop, an eye loop. Nice and simple. You get your wire bending tool and you ignore that. Didn't mean that didn't mean to happen. You bend. This is a bit weird doing this on a camera. So you want your loop to be like that, so it's bent back upon itself a little bit. Then we're going to Fold this tag end around. We'll do it a couple of times. I'm going to get my pliers. I should have really thought about pliers before I started filming. Filling the ming. It'll look like this, which is a bit crap. But we're gonna tidy it up by giving it a wee, a wee squeeze. Come on, squeeze, damn it. And it ended up like that, which is a bit wonky eyed, so that's easy fixed. We just squeeze a little bit. And there we go. That is that wire loop formed. I'm then going to take it to about here, maybe. 
so that one hook's going to be in here, another hook's going to be held down about the about this little bit here. And we're going to make another eye. See, it always kind of goes a bit catty wampus. See, I'm learning new language. Catty wampus. When it goes like that, you're just basically going to bend it back against the wire forming tool. And then we're going to snip this bit here at the end. Keep that bit, we might get one more out of it. So there we have our wire that we're going to basically use to anchor the two hooks together. This isn't going to ever break, it's one millimeter stainless steel. Pretty good stuff. Now let's move on to the wire. This stuff. Is 90 pound 49 strand American fishing wire shark leader and what you do when you're going to before you cut it because if you cut it it's got the ends just gonna fucking spring into a million bits you take your old blowtorch blowtorch the end of it till it glows red and it basically melts the end to get middle melts it together so then you can cut it and it won't fray apart for this rig, you need, well, let's say 20 inches. So here we have 20 inches. So let's take this bit here. Let's cut that to its roasting red. Let it cool down. Don't touch it. And there we go. That's our length of leader. This stuff's brilliant. Doesn't cost an awful lot of money. You can buy it. Uh, I actually got that in a shark fishing shop. Shark fishing online or something like that there. Really good. So now we go back to our harness. That we basically rigged back to front. Because the old hook used to be here. We put the new hook here. So when it's sitting. When this is sitting inside the fish. This is going to be up close towards the head, and this is where you want to put your wire through, so like so. And you need two size four AFW crimps. We double crimp because it doesn't move out, it doesn't slip. So two crimps. Just thread them on the end, push them right down, let's get, let's get these pushed through it, so you have a bit of a loop, slide the first one down, and we want to push this tag end, push this tag end, through the top of the swivel just so you can see it poking out poking out of the bottom of the swivel we then pull this up tight so it's left with a little loop not a big massive loop and then we just thread this down like so the first crimp we're going to do is the top one you take your crimping pliers and 
you squeeze, that is crimped. Do the same at the bottom. That is now secure. That's not going to move. We then take some shrink tube. I'm using red here at the minute because I have red. Red shrink tube. Slide the shrink tube down the length of your truss. Covers the wire. Then we blowtorch this so it shrinks. I'm going to do this off screen because it's quicker. I always manage to do this off screen without burning the shit out of myself. There we go. That is it. Ready to rock and roll. Where did our little thing go? Here we go. This job goes on to here. There we go. We then get a second split ring from my big bag of split rings. And we put this split ring onto this. At least we try to without dropping the damn thing. We then put our second hook on it. And there we go. So this then gets put into this little hole in the bottom. Our leader wire goes through the the head and when this is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make something up that's gonna pinch it in like this but first of all let's finish off the top end so this is basically how it's going to look under the water you're gonna have your two hooks and they're going to be dangling so that when the pike smashes it there's two nice hooks on it so let's put this is a little silicone sleeve that used to be made by Grays but Grays went bust so we can't really say go and buy them from Grays I ended up buying stocks of them I ended up buying like fucking 25 packets of them before they went out of bust out of business so hopefully for the rest of my pike angling life I'm okay I say hopefully we put on our two crimps and then we go and find a swivel and this will be fun finding a swivel find a swivel too big too big too big Rubbish. I can't find the swivel. What we'll do is we'll just make a loop. I don't see a swivel anywhere that I can use. I did have a packet of a hundred pound uh, swivels, but I can't seem to find them. So what we'll do is we'll just make a loop into this line. Take your two 
swivels, fold your wire through the swivels, just the same way as you did on the bottom. So that you end up with a little loop at the top, and then you pull this down, so you'll have a loop at the bottom. So let's get this crimped. So there we have it, the crimped. We then take our sleeve and we'll just push the sleeve up and leave that eye. Because when you go to crimp, crimp on your, or attach your trace, your wire leader, your wire leader will have, have something like these on it. These just open up like so. And you can put your crimp in like that. Normally on this, I put a swivel. Something like this. This is a hundred. I think it's actually a 200. I think this is actually like a 200 pound catfish swivel. I got a pack of 10 of them. They're made by Mad Cat. And... They do take an awful lot of a kicking, but for the size of them, they're they're small. They're about the size of a, you know, a decent swivel, but they're incredibly strong. So here's one I rigged up just now for you. Here's one that I already. Here's one that I already prepared earlier, and you can see there's a little wire pin there. It's holding this in the arse end. So I'm going to show you how you make that. You take your tag end. You put it in your wire benders. You make like a little loop like so. And trim this at an angle. So it makes a nice sharp point. And this is where the magic happens. You put it in there. And this little short end we're going to fold back a bit. So we took this and pushed it back, this is sharp, and it makes like a little eye like that there. We then take this through the swivel, through the, the, the split ring. Again, try and do this without getting yourself stabbed with the... There we go. And it's just going to hold in place. And then we then push this up into here. So that your lures, as it's swimming, nothing is impeding the movement. The hooks will quite happily dangle there and when the big old pipe comes and smashes it hopefully there's hooks that smash into its face and then you end up with a big pike in your boat 
or the bank. Preferably, you end up with a big pike. So there we go. Let's see how this uh, turned out on video.